Love your content. Can you break down some of the different roles that staff writers play? Well, I don't mean to embarrass you, but it's pronounced content. So there's only two roles. There's the showrunner and everyone else. The showrunner decides what stories are going to be told and how they're going to be told. And everyone else just pitches. Uh, they come up with ideas. They write dra uh, outlines. They write first drafts, second drafts. They might rewrite somebody else's stuff. Uh, and there are different titles, though, and the titles are afforded based on your experience and what you can no negotiate for. So usually you have like a number two. You have the showrunner and then a number two, which is usually a co-executive producer. And it's not uncommon for the number two to actually have more experience than the showrunner. Uh, that's happened on a number of occasions. Uh, and so in that case, the number two will do whatever the showrunner asks of them. My partner and I were hired on a show where the showrunners had very little experience and they wanted us to be uh, involved in the record session so that we could help direct and show them how to run that. We were on another show where the showrunners had a lot of experience, but uh, it was all in an more, most of it was animation. So they wanted us on set because we knew how to watch the cameras, uh, what kind of coverage we would need. So we were there as a, you know, a second pair of eyes saying, hey, you're not gonna use that shot. You're not gonna need that shot. The camera's on the wrong side of the line, that kind of stuff. So it's whatever they ask. We were on another show. Uh, this is run by Chris Lloyd. And he's certainly one of the most respected and talented comedy writers in the business. And he didn't want, like doing casting. So he uh, delegated one of the other co-executive producers to be in charge of casting. And I had a lot of respect for that because usually a writer will come up with any excuse to leave the room. But, you know, not Chris. He, wanted, he was there to be a writer. And so, cool. I was like, that's great. So it really just depends on what the showrunner asks of you. The, the bulk of the work is writing. And that's why it's so important to know uh, a story structure. And so a lot of times if the showrunner is leaving the room, they'll designate the number two. Okay, you're, you're in charge of the room now. You have to break the story. And so that person will stand at the board. So understanding story structure is key. Uh, I teach that now. I have a writing course that's only open three days out of the month because I'm, you know, I'm busy. So if you're interested uh, and you want to join those three days, the click here and you'll find out when it's opening up again. But that's the key, story structure. That's that's 90% of it. And so many people think they know it, and I'm telling you, so many people do not. You you don't want to get this job as a staff writer and finally get your big break and then get fired because you don't understand this stuff. That would be heartbreaking. All right, so uh, go there if you're interested. Thanks so much for the question.